Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, Justin, it is almost spring. I got, I, I've pulled out all the shorts and the sandals. I'm ready for some warm weather and I know you are too. There's a lot of people that are asking the question, especially with the price of fuel going the way, I mean, fuel's crazy. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, we've had to change our trip plans for this year simply because we can't justify the expense to, you know, spend thousands of dollars in fuel to go on the trips that we had planned. So we're having to adjust that. And, and I know there's a lot of other people that are new to the state of Texas and are asking that question, where to camp in Texas? You see this map back there? I've been, I've been doing this YouTube video thing for a little bit of, of a, a bit of time. And we've put on some miles in the great state of Texas. And we've camped in just about every public campground in the great state of Texas. But you don't have this map hanging on your wall at home. It just doesn't exist. So you, you don't know where to camp in Texas. I've, I've been I've been thinking about this and, and I've created a tool. I actually have, I introduced that tool about a month ago, but it was at the end of a video. And a lot of people that I've talked to that watched the first of that video didn't watch the last of that video. So there's a lot of you that don't know about the, the map, the Google map, the Dude RV Google map. So we're gonna go get on the computer and I'm gonna walk you through that. It's just a great convenient tool for you to be able to plan your camping trip. And I've also recently been introduced to another tool that I'm really excited about. That when you combine the two tools, you know where to camp in Texas. Uh, and, and you can get a campsite with the, with the second tool. So let's go get on the online and find solutions for your question, where to camp in Texas. So let's go get online. So if you're asking the question, where to camp in Texas, odds are pretty good that you've come over to Google Maps and you've done this right here. You just started looking, zooming in, scrolling around, then you probably jump over to recreation.gov and you go and search for Texas and recreation.gov will show you campgrounds. And, you know, you, you, you zoom in here and you don't know whether or not they're actually good places to camp, bad places to camp. Click on there and you open up and you see a few pictures. And then, you, you know, you, you, you even can go to satellite view and zoom in. You don't know if you, and then you may have all the good days reserved. Same thing happens with the Texas State Park System. Just about it, at this time of year, everything is booked for the weekends. So if you're fortunate, like I am, that you can go camp during the week, finding a campsite is not a big issue. But if you're trying to get a weekend site somewhere, especially like on Lake Whitney, you're going to have a problem. I'm here to help you with a couple of tools to help solve the problem of where to camp in Texas, finding a campground. So bookmark dudeRV.com. This is the Dude RV website, dudeRV.com, of course. So if you click on any of these upper tabs, I also have links down here where you can click on see our Texas State Parks videos. This page is dedicated to, and we're going to come back up and we're going to talk about this in just a moment. 
it is dedicated to all of the YouTube videos that I have created for Texas State Parks. So this web, this web page lists in alphabetical order all of the Texas State Park videos that I have produced. So these, these are just the experiential videos for the Texas State Parks that we have shot video of. There's so many more videos. You can go up here and you can go to the FPV Scooter Tour page, and that gives you all of the scooter videos that I have created. That becomes a bit of a challenge trying to sort through all of that. They're not in alphabetical order. There's so many of them. I just threw them in there. To simplify all of this and to help you find your next campsite, I've created a Google map with multiple layers. We're going to open that up. All of these balloons are places that we have, public campgrounds we have visited, camped, and shot video of. And over here on the left, you'll see the layers. Now, I do need to do some, some work on this because I, I ran out of layers uh, when I started breaking out in, in the, the separate states. I didn't realize when I was creating this, it only had about 10 layers to work with. The most, the two most important or three most important layers are for this video, where to camp in Texas, uh, the Texas State Park and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer layers, uh, as well as the National Parks and Forest Service. We can zoom in on this. Now you have a visual. So if you're in Plano, and because of the high fuel prices, you want to stay within a three-hour or a two-hour drive. If you want to drive 100 miles, that puts you about in this loop right here. So we'll zoom in to just... Well, that's, that's probably going to be... Uh, about a hundred miles right there. So you've just you've already been to some of these and you want to go someplace new and different. Uh, well you haven't been to Cedar Hill State Park. And click on that. And over here on the left, you'll see that it opens up with a, a verbal description and there's six photos and four videos. Up here in the up, you'll see one of ten. And you can move between all of the videos created and pictures that I shot while I was there. Let's say uh, you want to go to Mineral Wells State Park, Lake Mineral Wells State Park. I love that one. That's one you definitely ought to visit. There's seven photos and three videos. Oh! I do have a video for all of the, the, the top, my, my top five Texas State Parks. All right, so that answer helps you answer that question of where to camp in Texas. And I also actually have videos from outside of Texas. There's some beautiful campsites up here in Oklahoma. Now that one was a really good one, McGee Creek State Park. So you get both the experiential video, as well as the scooter tour. 
So, and if I did a trail ride, there'll be a video, that video attached as well. You can bookmark this, should you so desire. Just know that it's always going to be on the dudeRV.com website. So now you know where you're going to go camping. You're going to go to Eisenhower State Park because you've watched the Dude RV videos. And you've gone over to, so you've loaded the Eisenhower State Park page on the Parks and Wildlife Department website. And you're going to make reservations. You want to go do a weekend camping trip. So we want to go camping over the July 4th weekend. We want to arrive on Friday. And we get a three-day weekend. And we're not flexible. Right now, there are actually a few sites available. At Eisenhower State Park. Hint, hint, clue, clue. Of course, all of the pull-throughs are, are, are spoken for. You can do some tent camping over here. But you want to get one of these primo pull-through sites. We're looking for an RV. Uh, two people. They're 34 feet long. We're going to apply that filter. There are only four sites left. Those are back end sites. But if you wanted to get one of those primo pull through sites, you're out of luck. So what are we going to do? Well, we know that a lot of people that have reserved these sites. I say a lot. Some of the people that have reserved these sites are not going to make it. And they are going to cancel their reservation. So you can sit here and you can come back and visit this and refresh and refresh and, and constantly monitor this. Or you can get a bot to do it for you. An algorithm. You can get your own campsite reservation robot, which is where these guys come in, Camp Nav. They have come up with the coolest little platform. They find reservations or they find campsites that have been canceled. So we are going to put in Eisenhower State Park. And so that's it saying it's not available, but I know better. We're going to go to the campgrounds tab. We're going to scroll down for Texas. Camping in Texas. And they also have taken advantage of mapping technology. And they have a map of campgrounds in Texas. Now, I'm not sure why this one up here in Milwaukee, that's the South Shore Park. That is not a Texas state campground. That's not a campground in, in Texas. But that's all right. We'll forgive them. We know that Eisenhower State Park is right there. What Camp Nab does is their algorithm will, once you, you set up a scan, we know we need to be in a campground, so we want to get 
the campsite details. This is the Bodark Ridge camping area. So we're going to select Bodark. You can do any site or specific sites. Well, we just want to get a campsite. We want full hookups. We want to make sure that we can fit. Now we choose our arrival date. We're going to show up on Friday. And we need three nights. Now you can get up to 15 scans going. So if you've got a big trip you're planning for, you can have a total of 15 different scans running at any given time. So let me add a scan, and that's done. Because I've set this up to notice, it'll notify you by text. And you'll notice I've got several running here, mostly for test purposes. We can delete that one. We're going to leave that one because I still have an interest in that, although fuel prices may have adjusted that. Uh, I'm still going to leave that running. And now we have our, our scan going for the Eisenhower State Park. And if there's a cancellation, I will receive a text so that I can immediately jump over here and make a reservation. And the text will show you it will tell you the campsite number, it'll, and it'll, it'll let you know there's an availability now in Eisenhower State Park for campsite, hip, 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 whatever number that is. So you can jump on the Texas Parks and Wildlife website and make your reservation before somebody else nabs it. That's why it's called Camp Nab, so you can get the best campsites. I have several plans available. So for, for only $90 a year, you get three scans, and it scans every 15 minutes. Now, the Ultra would give you up to 30 scans, and it scans every five minutes. And that would be an $800 a year commitment. And if you're just looking for one or two different campgrounds, this would be the best plan for you. If you're looking to get into multiples, like you've got a big trip that you're a you know, cross-country trip and you need to make sure you can get a site in 20 different campgrounds, then you're going to need to jump up to the Ultra. Customer service is phenomenal. I have been extremely impressed with, so I've been very impressed with customer service. Those folks are, are, are good people. They'll take the time to talk to you and help you sort things out. They'll help you with, with any question that you have. But they've put together some really good uh, content on YouTube on how to set up notification scams and how do you manage all of this stuff. Uh, so they're, they're here to help you. So that brings us to the end of our little little video here on where to camp in Texas and how to get a campsite once you figure out where you want to camp for the, the, the 2022 season. I hope this has been beneficial to you. Well, there it is. Two different tools. The Dude RV Google Map with layers as well as Camp Nab. Uh, that Camp Nab tool I, I cannot say enough great things about the Camp Nab tool. Those guys come, have come up with some really, a, a really beneficial and simple to use platform to help you get your campsite. So I encourage you to go click that link and check it out. The links will, will be in the description, or the link will be in the card right there, as well as in the description below. And of course, I have the banner on dudeRV.com, so you don't have to, you can bookmark it, 
But if for some reason you don't, you can find it in those three locations. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And remember, hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why we have this. Thank you for that opportunity. I really, I'm honored to be able to help you figure out where to camp in Texas. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?